Richemont is a Swiss-based luxury goods company controlled by the Rupert family. Exactly. So this one is listed here. So that's good and well. Remember, the core of this business is the Cartier jewelry operation. Von Cleef and Arpels, those are the expensive necklaces. They don't do badly. Mont Blanc is pens. Shanghai Tang is Chinese clothing and that kind of thing. And then you've got a bunch of other watch brands. Baum and Mercier, IWC, Jaeger, Le Coutre, Piaget, Roger, Debuis. Vacheron, you're doing Constantin, brilliant. you're doing brilliantly there. All of the above. So if you go to places like Hong Kong, you can walk up and down the streets in that place going past all of those stores. This one, of course, is key in terms of the China story, and we'll chat about that in a little more detail in a moment. Market cap, we're looking at 541.5 billion rand, PE of 33.7, and a dividend yield here of 2.1%. Well, that pretty much gives you the basics around the stock. You yeah. own Richmond, you own Richmond, mm -hmm. Hot Stocks owns Richmond. So this has been far the worst hit by the China sort of slowdown and about the, the camping down on, on um, bribery. And when you look at the exposure, I mean, there are some of the other companies that sort of touch and, and grow in the level and, and region of, of where um, Richmond actually operates in China. but. This company has been the worst hit price-wise. So when you com compare the valuation of Richmond to the other companies in this group, this is by far the most attractive on a price level. So yeah. it's about that high level of conviction and buying more. Yeah, right well look, now. it's operationally based in Switzerland. So a lot of its costs are incurred in Swiss francs. Remember, there was that whole drama with the Swiss franc devaluing relative to other currencies, which got everybody all a shaken. It's a South African company by heritage because of the fact that the Rupert family went global with the cigarette cash flows and bought their way into the luxury goods and then assembled this portfolio. They've got great presence in watches. Remember, Chinese people love complicated watches, so they develop more and more quality timepieces with all sorts of things going on. And you know, this you know how? Well, I've spoken to people who operate stores in places like Las Vegas. Their clientele is all Chinese, and the more complicated the watch, the better. So that's good. That's great. But that's exactly where the sweet spot has been, but is not exactly anymore. It's not like watch sales have died completely right. from China. It's still a high status item, but it's just not growing. So like let's it used look to. at the, the share price graph and see whether it reflects what we're saying. It's gone sideways now. for years and years. It's just above 100 Rand a share. And the reason it's done that is it's done badly in its anchor core listed market in, in Switzerland, Zurich. But it's been supported by the weakening Rand relative mm. to the euro. Have you been buying more? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, definitely. Especially in our offshore portfolios as well. There, as Paul say, there was no rand to support it, so the price there looked even more attractive than locally. There's one thing I think we do need to put on the table, though, and that is watches. And that is whether or not watches like that are going to continue to sell, or whether the Apple Watch type smartwatch is in some way a significant risk. You're well, a good, you're a good barometer actually, of this, <laughs> because I'm sure you own an Apple okay, Watch. I can actually your... tell you a little secret. I walked up the stairs with my Apple Watch and swapped my watches before I came into studio. Well, okay, yeah. there you there made the go. case. That's it. So this, is, think, this is just yes. for show. Well, I think this will remain a luxury item to be mm. wearing out for, you know, for, for evening, so sort of more evening wear yeah. and fashion wear but on a practicality basis the apple watch doesn't does definitely appeal to me like all sports watches i think when people are active they sort of like to know what they're doing how well they're doing it they monitor their heartbeat there we go. But it's not you for have everyone. an apple watch no i don't although discovery has this deal now where you can get one and then mm. you know if you exercise a lot then you don't pay for it so and it's quite does you should get children own, do your children own <laughs> my children watch. want me to get the watch because i'm the one that does all the running then they think they could wear the watch and then you know dad could just but pay there for is it. pressure from your children they are i don't know it's a completely this. different concept i've never really worn a watch at all because if you've got a cell phone then you know what the time is right but the smart watch you know, they were sort of nerd things that no one would really wear. Yeah. But the Apple product, I think, has changed the category. It has. Hot or not? I'm hot on Richmond. Hot, hot or not, Paul? The fact that it's listed and available to us here in South Africa is a huge benefit mm. because it's a global scale company. And I think you've got to have them in a portfolio. And it gives you this exposure, which you can't easily obtain elsewhere. And it's done badly. And I think the, the move will kind of... And, you know, they'll rotate into better times. The comparatives will get better. So definitely. Hot Double hot on Richmond.